Okay, good morning and welcome to Ian with Ben Sion on the Mishnayas, on Mishnah Yomi. Today's Mishnayas, or Misach HaShviyas Perak Hay, Mishnayas Hay and Vav. I want to start today first with Mishnah Vav. <coughs> it says, an interesting halacha, about Lifnei Iver, Lifnei Iver, let's say, Mikshal, it's a parasak in Parshas Kedoshim. You're not supposed to put a stumbling block for a blind person. The Rambam says, I think this is famous, and now it's famous so over here. He says a blind person is not literally a blind person. It's someone sagra ino ataiva yitzahara, yitzahara. He's someone that's steeped in avera. His yitzahara has gotten the better of him. He's blind. It's close his eyes to the truth. So you can't sell him kalim utensils or tools that he's going to for sure do malacha with during shemitah. We're talking about all the rishonim say someone is chashut. Chashut means it's a suspect, meaning he's a type of person. That we're not sure if he's going to do an aver or not. So if you sell him a plow or things that are for sure going to be used, if the guy chooses to do averos, it's going to be used to work the field. So then it's usher. Chasher, I would I would say is the category of sveika del raisa lechumra. Lifna yivir is an isr del raisa. Tavik del raisa lechumra. Now the mission at the end says that if it's a magal yad or magal katsir, a small sickle that can be used to cut a little bit of grain, but also that can be used to cut a lot of grain. It's malacha, it's, it's Isra la it could be used for Isra. Or Hetar, it's cut a little, it's not an Isra during Shemitah. Cut that Allah for your Otsar, for your storehouse, that's an Isra during Shemitah. So then it's Mutter. What's the reason being? So, again, here, it's, first of all, it's a Safik. And then Isra of a Hetar is a Sveik Sveika. So, first of all, we're not sure if the guys do have Vera. And therefore, if you sell them something, if you sell them which could be used for Hetar, so therefore it's a Safik Sveika, right? Maybe he won't do malacha at all, even if it's completely less. Or, and even if he'll tell me that he might do an avera, maybe he'll use this sickle for a heter. So they were the fake sveiga. That would be mutter. This is in contrast to Mishnah Hay, which has a different halacha. Let me read Mishnah Hay. Maybe it's mutter adam likach lufa motzai shvius. Not supposed to buy a certain type of onion, we'll say a purple onion, a motzai shvius. We're concerned that the person who grew it during. Uh, grew it during uh, the seventh year and now is selling you seventh year produce during the eighth year, right? If it grew during the seventh year, you can't partake of it either in the eighth year. It's still called Parash Shvius. Um, or you can't destroy it. You can't eat it in the wrong way. So, it's my clothes or Yehuda and the Chum. Yehuda says in the eighth year you can eat right away. The Chum say you can't eat right away. You have to wait until Pesach of the eighth year because then we assume more of the onions sold in the supermarket are uh, Chadash from the new year, not from the seventh year. So the, the svara given Rabbi Yehuda over here is that <coughs> it's not shchiyach to have purple onions from the seventh year because it's hard. The Mishnah Mishnah Dalit says it's very hard. They made you do a shino to take it out of the ground because they're worried about looking like you're working during shemitah. So therefore, it's a shino. So it's unlikely. Rove of the onions were not t- were not uh, plucked during shemitah and saved for the eighth year. So there was a miut miut. Of the, there are some that are mixed in according to Rabbi Yehuda, but you go by Sarov, Rov, the ones in the eighth year are new ones, therefore you can go after the Rov. Come say you don't go after the Rov. Kaishin and Lamiyuta, maybe. Whereas Remeir says Choshish Lamiyuta, the Rabbanan may be a Chosh Lamiyuta, even where it's a Mir Ashriach. In Halach, we pass in that we are Chosh Lamiyuta if it's a Mir, which is. You know, let's say a chance, I don't know, 30, 30 percent, 3 to 33 percent chance, a third chance. That's no longer called a Mia, that's Nikola and a Suffolk and a Suffolk. So, what's the difference in Sveik Sveika, which seems to be one way of understanding Sveik Sveika is 50 percent, 50 percent, and then I added that other 50 percent, 25 percent, 25 percent. So, again, you're dealing with a Mia and a Rove. 25 percent is a Mia, and Rove is, uh, would be 75 percent. So, therefore, uh, the rov is that it's not iser, it's mutter, and 24% iser, so you go bust a rov. So you go after 79%. But this Mishnah, we pass the Chamim, that we don't allow you to go after the rov. Even though Yehuda relies on the rov, the rov of Heter, we, we go after 25% of iser. So you could say it's different 25%, 33%. Or you could say there's a fundamental difference that's fake sveika, the Pshan fake sveika, is not because it's 25% to 75%. It's fake sveika. Is that if you have two sveikos, um, it undermines the suffix at all. Um, it undermines the suffix, meaning it's only called a suffix, it's a doubt in my mind, if there's one suffix. Once you, I, I eliminate, if even if on the side that it's usher, it might be a head there, there's another suffix involved, 
We're not commanded to worry about Sveik Sveiko. We're not worried about Sveiko. Once there's two different Shilas or two different Sveikos, Torah said you be careful about a Suffolk, a doubt, Suffolk the Rice of the Torah. But when there's another Suffolk involved, the Torah doesn't mazer you, doesn't say you have to worry about another Suffolk. It's too much to worry about. It's too much in your head to worry about. You don't have to make such intense calculations. Don't make cheshbonos, as they say. But when it's one Suffolk, it's just one Shila, even though it's leaning towards Heter, but if there's a significant miut, then you have to worry about it because it's all nichal and one suffix. The Torah says worry about a suffix. One thing, one, one, one suffix is on your mind. So you have to worry about it even though uh, the chances are it's probably not an Avera, but you still have to worry about it. It's only one suffix. It's important in life. You know, we're faced with a lot of decisions in life. Sometimes making decisions can be very hard. You say, if this, what happens if this? If this happens? The Torah doesn't want you to make calculations. Focus on the decision right now. Make that right decision. Then move on to the next decision. If it's a, but you have to be kosher to that first decision, even if even if it's only a small chance. If it's a significant small chance, you have to be worried about it. But two sfekos, don't let it come to your mind. Don't let be worried by it. That's part of the message of sfek, sfeka. We go to the cool, even with the raisa. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you tomorrow.